And now to a tribute to the entire class of 2020 in their own words. Take a listen. With less pomp. Congratulations. We are so proud of you. And more circumstance. I know this journey didn't have the Cinderella ending we were expecting it to. Meet the graduating class of 2020, apart yet united in their message. Well, I don't think any of us expected to be where we are right now, whether it's on our couches, in our childhood rooms, or where I personally spent most of my quarantine, the kitchen. Or maybe in your case, your living room with your parents much closer than you ever expected them to be on this day. The sense of loss that we all understandably feel right now will hopefully be short-lived. Despite dashed expectations, we remain resilient and hopeful during this challenging curve in our paths. We know that if there is no struggle, there is no progress. Deflated, but not defeated. And now we sit here with an even greater, potentially even scarier chapter of our lives. I discovered from my most challenging time experiencing fear is to not live in it. As I stand here today, nearly alone in a sterilized room, I am filled with emotion. It is hard for me to remind myself to be proud of my accomplishments when all I want to do is cry. But as I look to the future, I know that there is one lesson I will take from this experience that gives me hope. This has shown me that you never know when something is going to be your last. Some of you may have heard of a little show called The Office and I think Andy said it best with, I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you actually left them. So next time I find myself in a little moment, like sharing a pitcher of beer on the terrace with my friends after the quarantine is lifted, or hugging my grandparents, I'll know that those little moments are actually big moments. A crash course in resilience in the midst of fear. Today, we face the fear of battling COVID-19, not finding the ideal job, or having the opportunity to create those monumental memories that we expected to experience as graduating seniors. But if there ever were a time to be fearless, this is it. This is the challenge of our generation. This is our time. It's our turn to care for the sick, find the cure, bring hope to others, we will become the essential workers, the artists, the inventors, the teachers. We are the ones the world has been waiting for. Although the challenges we face will be great, know that you are greater. It is important to remember that it may be necessary to encounter defeat. You must encounter it and confront it head on. This is not about the final ceremony, but about the journey we took to get here. And no disease, pandemic, hurricane, or even failing grade can take that away from us. Perhaps all that we lost is a perfect reminder of all that we have to be grateful for and everything we have to be proud of because everything that has been taken away from us this year, and I know that we have lost a lot, cannot take away from the fact that we've made it. We made it. <laughs> we did it. Congratulations, classmates. Good luck. Now go be great. To my peers, do not lose sight of your goals and do not forget all that you have accomplished. Class of 2020, we are creative. We are visionaries. We are innovators. And we will be the ones to change this world for the better. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.